You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So, sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Cigar Guys Podcast. We are back in the studio once again. Uh, you can see all four of us now, which is crazy. Um, don't worry, we still have the cameras switching back and forth, but we wanted to add a little more depth into this um, you know, podcast. Basically, my name is Zach. I'm gay. Oh, now you stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I know when to. All right. What's your name? My name is Zach. What's your name? My name is Jared Burroughs. What's your name? Mark. And I'm Alex. And today we are going to reshoot an episode that got taken down from Twitter or from YouTube called Not Twitter. Cigar Don't disrespect Olympics. Twitter like Twitter that. Twitter doesn't exist anymore. Cigar Olympics. Uh, essentially, the premise is we're all going to light at the same time, Mark. Okay. And. Ready. The, we only get one light, one initial light, and the last person uh, to have their cigar go out wins, essentially. So, it's the longevity contest. I guess, hmm. Oh, we're all good. Perfect. Okay, so. Is everyone ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, three, two, one, go. And we're also going to be talking about a special interview that happened recently. Not with any of us, but. With someone we all we all know personally, I was there. Yeah, I was there too. Just not in the interview, you know. Well, you could have spoke. You can request to talk. Yeah, they they didn't know how to work it though. So, so once you're lit, you're lit. I'm putting my lighter down. I'm done. Mark's done. Jared's done. Zach's done. Once lighter is down, it cannot come up. Look at you, Zach. Yeah, Zach usually cheats in these things. First time ever, two cigars at once. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that pro. So Jared and I were talking about this earlier. Uh, we are, we really want to push for getting cigars in the real Olympics. So hopefully by like 2020. Cigar smoking? Yeah. Like a cigar smoking contest in the Olympics? Right. And well, other activities. You know, they used to have, um, you know what snuff is? Yeah. Um, I saw on TV one time they were having a snuff sniffing competition. So there's that idea. I was also thinking if that doesn't work out, we should have a separate Olympics. Where it's all the same sports, but you have to be smoking a cigar at the same time. Mm. What do you think, Zach? I agree. Yeah. Even swimming. How, how, bas- how badass would it have been if that Turkish dude in the shooting competition had a cigar in his mouth as well? Exactly. Yeah, he would have been way cooler. Exactly. Even the swimming. First one with the cigar out, loses. So you do the backstrokes. <laughs> With your, your head sticking out of the water. Yeah. With the cigar straight up. Yeah. And if do it gets you, too wet, you're done. Yeah. Do you do a lot of backstrokes <laughs> when you're smoking a cigar? <laughs> Personally, no. Um, In and out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, did we all watch or listen? Jared wanted to watch it, but it wasn't possible. Did we all listen to the Elon Trump X interview. You could have watched Trump talking from his house. Oh, was he live streaming it? Uh, I don't know if it was live streaming, but... I there was like a video or two uh, so that they, people took. Yeah, they, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I did that, though, to like showcase that he didn't have a lisp. Yeah. People were... Yeah. That was the... Why did people say he had a lisp? Oh, no, the audio quality yeah, was... The audio quality was terrible. It, sound, it sounded like he had a lisp. Oh, damn. A lisp. They were saying that uh, he didn't have his dentures in... Uh, that he was drunk, that he was slurring his words. Um, because, yeah, the, the S's, some of the sounds would be like 
like that or something. I don't know. The, the P's and the S's. So like just like this, though, you take this off, you know. In all fairness, like they Peter ju- Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I don't think it was the P's as much. They but just it was like, like a, uh, they just yeah. deterred like a DDoS attack. So I mean, like, yeah, they just got back online. That is true too. Who did Twitter? Yeah, yeah. When they right. had it, they had a DDoS attack. Because he stress tested, I guess, with like 3 million listeners before they did it. Yeah. 8 million. Eight mi- oh, yeah. There you go. Do you know what a DDoS is, Zach? What? Please explain to the people who don't know. Distributed denial you know. of service attack. Yeah, it's where they flood the system with like... Now, they- yeah, I was making a joke. Obviously, you know. Yeah. But explain it. It's where you take like users, quote unquote users, right? Yeah, and you flood like let's just say a website. Uh, I, are my headphones low or is like my mic low? I feel like probably. I hear you fine. Okay, all right. Um. Anyway, so it's where oh yeah, that's better. Okay, so it's where you basically have a s- x millions of millions of users, and you just flood a website or a service with it, and it kind of brings them down. A lot of people usually use it for websites if they want to take some some website down. But yeah. That's about it. Which it was working initially. So they were like 30 minutes delayed, basically. That's okay. Yeah, 45. But they still ended up going till like 11. Yeah. It was like yeah, at least two hours. It was, uh, I think the whole recording was three hours. Yeah. Three hours and like 12 seconds or something. It was a. Uh, that alarming. counted. It tells you when you go on Twitter. Really? But. I just love how everyone still calls it Twitter. Yeah, it's it's gonna be really hard to just call it X. You know who's gonna call it X? Like like the future kids. You know, yeah, they're not gonna remember Twitter, so that they're, they're gonna be the ones like, oh, do you have X? I'm like what? <laughs> I, wa- I wonder what they're gonna call posts. Back in my day, it was called Twitter. They just call them like shares. Or really? Like, yeah. They still call them tweets. No, they're, no, they're, they they're X posts. He, he, yeah, he explained it. Yeah, they're not. They're, you don't retweet a post anymore. You re- just repost it. Mm. And then I guess they're X posts. Yeah, basically, it's just another social media platform. If they ever get a uh, video with spaces, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I just don't think that's the point. Yeah, I know. But they don't. They don't support a lot of media things. Like uh, when we upload our podcast to our X account, it only goes to 1080p or 720. Speaking of, when's the last one you uploaded? I knew that would backfire. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I, I finally tried to get traction on our Twitter. I'm sorry, our X. And what do I have to show for it? Nothing. They they really don't uh, have that great of like a media <laughs> platform, though. No, not really. Like, but they're, they're working trying to implement on it. everything, like articles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're definitely, and they're definitely like in going in the step to like the right direction. But um, it's just, you know, like YouTube. Has a has great organizational skills for organizing media, uh, where like X doesn't. Um, I agree, and and I think that's where the issue comes because it's like with YouTube, if you're looking for a video, you'll find that video right away. Versus on X, it's like you have yeah. to find the user who posted the video, and then from there try to track down that video. Yeah, because um, too, if you look up like something that's trending, it's very selective. Like if you're trying to find something specific. Yeah, it's very hard to do so. Google's uh, and well, yeah, Google and YouTube, I guess, uh, they've implemented search features that help narrow it down. Uh, just because you know YouTube went into short videos when they were previously known for long content. So uh, when you now when you search for stuff, you could search either for shorts or short, search for uh, uh, longer view or longer videos or whatever. Google did the same thing. So I think that's a smart way to do it. They just need to add more options. Before we continue, what is the cigar that we're smoking for the Cigar Olympics today? None other than the Besa Natural. Really? Or Habano. Sorry. The Natural. I mean, it is natural. It is a natural. <laughs> it is the Besa Natural, otherwise known as the Habano, otherwise known as superior to all others. Um, fresh off the lot too. We're basically doing quality control right now. So we got a new batch in because we keep selling out somehow. And 
or quality control, make sure that it's consistent as last time. I think it is. What do you think, Zach? Yeah, I think it tastes good. Um, you know, I commented on it when I first grabbed it. I knew it was probably the new batch. They're still a little damp, so burn might be a little uneven, but once they settle in, they'll be fine. I like how it feels, you know, a little thick, a little robust. You can feel the veins. Actually, mine's mine's burning pretty good right now. Mm, might have been my, my... Mine's definitely a little more humid, so it's going to sure. be... It's okay if I still yeah, yours, win. Yours looks like it's not from the same batch. It is. It looks like it's the Maduro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me but see. But flavor at least is still there. No, these are the same. Yeah, it's the same. Is it? Yeah, they're from the same box that, or bag or bundle, whatever. So yeah, that's what we're smoking. Basecigar.com. The natural and the Maduro, depending on your preference. Maduro is definitely being on the stronger side. Jared's personal favorite. I mean, technically all our personal favorites. I think we prefer the Maduro. As a cigar guy generally does. At least, you know, in our demographic. Well, you know, I agree with Mark earlier. Darker the better. <laughs> what? When did I did say he that? say that? <laughs> <laughs> it was earlier, like three months ago. Oh, it's probably because you weren't recording. It was right before the podcast. So. I, <laughs> yeah, I only process things if there's a camera on. If you never said it and the camera wasn't on, like it wasn't said. I, I never said that, but I think Jared said that actually. Uh, why be in denial about something so good? <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't have to be ashamed about it. Like, are you saying you don't like Maduros? No, nah, I love Maduros. What he meant to say was the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Do you understand now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for sure, for there sure. you go. There you go. So let's just discuss the topics that were talked about on Trump. Thank you, Zach. Okay. Trump versus Elon. Trump <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think won that debate? <laughs> it was a tough call, honestly. Um, if I would have known it was a debate, I would have probably kept more track of who was winning. <laughs> I thought it was interesting that um, Elon could barely get a word in most of the time because Trump was just talking and talking. Was and that talking. surprising, though? No, but if you listen to most of uh, Elon's like debate or one-on-one interviews, he's usually speaking most of the time. Well, to be fair, he was the interviewee this or the interviewer this time. He was the one interviewing. Yeah, yeah usually yeah. he's being interviewed. And I feel like usually he's defending himself. So he like Elon Musk. It was he, probably like a nice break for him to be interviewing someone else. Yeah, exactly. Not yeah. have to defend himself. Although Trump did take like a couple shots at him, like side comments. Like nothing what? nothing crazy. I think he said like um I think he made fun of like Tesla. Like no. kind of jokingly though. Uh, no, he said you make great cars. But Oh yeah. Uh, we, we do you need fossil fuels to create the energy though. Yeah. And there was he, something else. And he said they need a choice. Like we can't afford yeah. Yeah, 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 no, that choice, that's yeah. fine. He said something else. Or I think he was talking about um how it's not quite there yet, but it'll get there. Something like that. I don't remember the exact comment, but you make great cars, but I actually have Nikola Tesla's notebook, so that was yeah, basically what? what Trump said. Incredible reference there, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you guys don't even know about that reference. Jared knows. That actually I, I do. I know about that reference. I think I think we all I think we all do. Probably. I don't, I, <laughs> Jared was the only one that complimented me on it, so Well, he was so fast to compliment you that I didn't feel like it was necessary. Yeah, do you want us all to compliment you next time? No, no, I don't know. He's just I'm just saying. Let's get into that actually. That's a good quick a quick side uh, yeah. side quest. A little side quest, yeah. A little side quest. So Baron Trump is a time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> but there's books about it. So it's true. If it's in a book, it's true. It's true. That is true. Uh so <laughs> So uh um uh, where was I going with this? Oh, Donald Trump's grandfather actually owns the Nikola Tesla like collection of knowledge is he still alive no but you say donald trump's what what grandfather or something uncle or uncle Uncle, yeah john trump yeah no no he's not still alive i don't think right no i'm pretty sure he he gave it to trump though so they were passed down to the person that the book was written about essentially baron trump that book is kind of wild when did it come out though I think it was like over 100 years ago. Like, did it actually come out over 100 years ago? It was in the 1900s, I'm pretty sure. That would be wild. Oh, didn't that John McAfee guy like tweet in 2019 before he died? 
that Joe Biden, that uh, Ru- the first Russian time traveler came back and said that Joe Biden would drop out in September and then they would pick an unelected nominee for the DNC. He was wrong about the month, though. Yeah, you're right. No. I mean, oh, in, in yeah. there, in, well, we, it, wrong is that it already happened because Kamala Harris and Tom Malt, whatever his name is, were not actually elected. So what he said yeah. is right. I'm saying it's already happened. Well, he said Biden dropped out in September. No, no, no. Yeah, but Biden technically hasn't dropped out. Someone else wrote that he dropped out. His election <laughs> IDs are still there. No, I'm serious. You can look it no, up. No, you're right, though. You're right. Yeah. What's it called? The uh, Traveler something of Baron Trump? It's like the uh, just type in adventures like, of Baron Trump. Yeah, just type in uh, like Baron Trump time traveler will come up. Uh, uh, First the, one right there. Yeah. Let's see. I want the actual history behind it. You think Baron Trump will run for president? Well, in theory, when Trump's done, he has two sons, two daughters, and then Baron, who isn't old enough yet. So really three sons, but he's not old enough yet. Baron yeah, Trump's yeah, yeah. marvelous underground journey. Yeah. Yeah. So in theory, we could have a Trump dynasty, if you think about mm. it. I'm not a big fan of like... I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that, if I'm being honest. Oh, this one is says publication date 2017. Well, it means digitized now. Just like, you know, we wrote the Cigar Guys book. Yeah, that book was written like 20 years ago, but... Now it's on Amazon. Oh, yeah. Okay. 1889 and then Jeez. 1893. Yeah, over 100 years ago. And then they uh, remained obscure until 2017 when they received media attention, perceived similarities between U.S. President Donald Trump. Yeah. So 2017 was like the rediscovery and republications and stuff. Um, Wild. I love dynasties. If I agree with them, exactly. <laughs> Kang Dynasty, no problems there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think. Um, I mean, it, it really does depend. Like, I think definitely back then, dynasties made more sense because obviously, like today, everything moves so rapidly. Back then, lifespan was like what twenty years. <clears throat> and no, was, how effective longer than that well define i guess if you define back then okay let's just say 40 years max right look look it up how long they were living back then when let's what say the, um like 1400s in 1400s yeah or what are you looking up i was not saying no 1400s what dynasty was around then i don't know i think i'm talking like middle ages latest middle ages middle medieval medieval ages latest um, I about to guess fifties, not twenty. Uh, that's way too young. What are you looking? Um, at? I wish I had my phone. I'm way better at looking up things. I was just about to tell you. I have my AI too. Relax. This See, Zach Google wants AI. to make sure it's correct information. You just want to make it fast inform. You're as bad as mainstream media. Uh, life expect life expect expectancy at birth was brief, twenty five years. Uh, <laughs> during the, that was during the Roman Empire, and thirty three years during the Middle Ages, raised to fifty five years in the nineteen hundreds. See, oh pussies. You so, were down at twenty five. So, yeah, but yeah, but so yeah, dynasties make sense. Thank you. You know, no, you think it's a die faster would be a faster. well, no, well, no, they would live, they would end up living longer. Like the rich people end up living longer because yeah, they have, you know, access to more nutrients. If you let stuff. us explain the point, so it'll make so, sense. So, like in my opinion, if you have a dynasty and they're this family is somehow living, and you know, you have no knowledge, right? No internet, no news, no no medicine, right? If you have a family that is somehow surviving. To 50 years of age, let's just say, but it's probably just because they have the nutritional factor in there um, versus everyone else lives to 25. Aren't you going to assume that like, first of all, they know more than you because they've had, you know, the knowledge they've lived longer. And then plus in today's industry, you know, you could have a president for four years, accomplish a shit ton of stuff back then. If you had a ruler of a town for four years, what are they going to do? Plant a farm? That's you know where I, mean? I was going with it. Imagine how long it takes to build like 
you know, a city that would take hundreds of years. So you would have a dynasty of four kings or whatever throughout that period of time. And you've built, you know, maybe one city. So you can't get stuff done quickly. It would take, you know, like one guy's lifetime to build a couple houses. Yeah. And and, and think about about the stuff that they were building. Yeah. We're all talking about oligarchies and monarchies versus like Republic and Democrat, Democrats, Democratic elections, you know? Yeah. What's your point? The fact matters. What you guys are talking about is that (laughs) those people are not elected in. Right. Yeah. But we're, we're arguing if it made sense. Like it made sense back then to do it that way. Which it does, because if you kept switching people in and out, there'd yeah. be no structure. Now, like to say that people weren't switched in and out, I, I think would be a false statement. Yeah. Because yeah. like, you know, let's just say the queen ruled all of these colonies, but each town had their own uh, leadership. leadership yeah, like and, elderman. Yeah. And they were like the family of that. That's why you have the Duke of Westchester and the, you know, whatever. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the person who ruled, like, you know, England at the time, um, w- was easily able to just kick that family out and put a new family in there. Yeah, without pushback. Yeah, yeah, because... But, too, to your point, you still had each village was run by... It's basically like having, you know, a governor of a state or a mayor of a town. You still have your, like, quote-unquote officials that take care of that area, but then they all report to the king on certain aspects. Yeah. Agreed. And two, really, like the job of the king was just make sure that his land was all at peace. Or at least it was going in the right direction. As far as like what the towns did themselves, like inside, it, it was it's not really a big deal. Yeah, they they had to be making money and then they had to Yeah, pay taxes, obviously. Yeah. Some things never change. And produce soldiers. Taxation is theft. I agree. No tax on tips. No tax on tips. One of the best things Kamala Harris has ever come up with. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Didn't she just like come out with that? Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. She also wants to be really strict on the border. I don't know if you heard that also. It's flattery. Well, she has the border. It's someone else's idea. So I think it's pretty funny. That's true. Mimicry is the highest form of flattery. I think it's finally, it's great that she's stepping up to her role as border czar after three years. You know, like, I, yeah. I know, late bloomer, you could say, but at least she's doing it now, you know? Well, or at least she's she, saying she, she's Well, when it. she gets elected, she'll do it. She's not doing it right now. That's true, yeah. She refuses to do anything right now. Right. Like, no tax on tips. That's like a next year thing. Yeah. So, when is the DNC? Is it this Friday? No. You keep getting the days mixed up. It starts on a Monday, first you of see, all. You see uh, John Morgan's, like, super pissed at, like, the whole Democratic Party. Oh, really? Yeah, like, he's like, I mean... He's typing profanity on Twitter or X. He's What's like, What's new? No, like he's like attacking him. He's like, like No, that is new. Yeah, he doesn't have that much power though to do anything. No, but he donates a, like a shit ton of money. Yeah, but I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's probably not that much money. In the grand scheme of things, no. No. But like to, if they lost all his donations right now, I don't think it would, I don't think it would do anything though. Well, yeah, because they really don't have any right now. So it's all money laundering. But yeah, I would assume. Uh, now I'm curious. What is he pissed about? Do you know, like specifics? That they're they're switching up like everything that they went for. Oh, w- like okay. since since Kamala Harris uh, went into office. Um, let's see. You're saying he's only seeing this now, or he's just now talking about it? He's just now talking about it. You know, that's a. I think it's gotten so bad. He's like, okay, I, you can't avoid it. Hmm. Because these things have been happening, but now it's like. So in your face, it, 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 it's almost like you can't avoid it. Mark's doing a pretty good job of. Uh, oh, we're allowed to ash, it. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But I, I encourage it actually. You encourage ashing? I feel like Jerry's went out and he's not saying anything. What are you talking about? I, I, I had to smoke two cigars one time. Did it go out? Oh, oh no. Have you ever seen a cigar go out while I'm holding it? I don't think I have, actually. What about what you said while you're holding it? Nice save. I, lo- I hold a lot of things that never go out. So. <laughs> what, 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 what? What? <laughs> Phone, devices, cigars that are lit, you name it. 
Interesting. We're really going off topic because all I said was Trump has three sons, <laughs> two daughters. I just we had to prove Mark wrong because he thought the life expectancy in the mid middle ages was. I did think 50. it was higher. I did, I really thought it was higher. Yeah, because in the movies they all look old, but they're well, just actors. Twenty five just seems like a crazy time to die. Yeah, but think about it. You get married at thirteen. <laughs> you 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 go fight in the war. Maybe if you if you live past the war. So like you run the farm for five years and then you have, you know, 20 kids at this point and then you die. Then so, by that time, your oldest son's getting married. But they die before their brains even fully develop. Maybe their brains fully developed and then they realized how like fucked up everything was and then they just died. Maybe. You know? Yeah, I guess like diseases itself. They don't really have a lot of, a lot of ways to clean themselves back it's up. It's in the air. Yeah, they just, you know, it's either, it's either. Okay, so John Morgan splits up his donations um, to majority majority of Democratic people, but he'll throw in like a $250 Republican donation, but it's usually like 15 grand, five grand, 10 grand, like to like different smaller people. Yeah, I think, um, I think they do the. He'll donate two hundred and fifty dollars to a Republican. Says this one. I think they do that for tax reasons. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, probably. Uh, contributions in the twenty twenty four cycle are six hundred forty seven thousand. Dang. Well, too, you can't donate more than X amount as a person. You have to have a super PAC to donate like millions of dollars anyway. So. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure he had well, so, one. So, yeah, that that donation of like 600 something thousand, that was the Morgan Morgan like foundation. Like that was, you know, his personal donations were like 5,000 here, 15 grand here, mm. whatever. Mm. He should donate 15 grand to the cigar guys. Foundation. Exactly. We supply cigars for people that need. <laughs> well, listen, that's a real thing though. Yeah, I mean, if you need them, we got them. Uh, the cigars for vets. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, I would say they need them. They need all the help they can get. Throwing them out there and hoping they come home. I always try to throw a couple cigars in there in the donation bins. I met a guy once that said he got some when he was deployed. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're actually getting them. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, like all of my coworkers, they've showed me pictures. Like they would wait every year for them to like get those cigars. Like it was like the only thing they live for. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That yeah. MRE. They would, yeah, that, yeah. They would send me, well, they would, they were showing me, one of them was showing me pictures once. He's like, yeah, he's like, it's awesome because, you know, they're like all like higher up. So yeah. <laughs> they're like, we're just sitting there smoking while we're saying everyone else <laughs> to go do stuff. And then when they get to where I, where we're at, then they do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure they give the Gurkhas to the, you know, underclassmen. Yeah. It's like the, what the Chinese do. What do they do? And uh, I yeah. wouldn't say to that extreme, but yeah, I got you. No, not to that extreme, but obviously this isn't the military we're talking about. This is like yeah. you know just business. But and we talked about this before. I think you have like the lower guys. They're working what hundred hours a week. Yeah, they don't have time to go home and sleep. Japan is big on this. Um, but yeah, they don't have time to go home and sleep because they have to work all day, then go out and party with their bosses at night. Yeah. But then they have to be right up right back at work in the morning um uh, while their bosses sleep in. So it's like you in Japan you'll catch them like falling asleep like in the streets, just waiting to go back to work and and you know, just, but then when they get to that level and they do the same thing with their, you know, their, uh, yeah, they probably got that built up rage, you know? It's like a fraternity. Yeah. Or an average day in the life of a cigar guy. <laughs> yeah. We're working a hundred hours a week and one day maybe we'll make someone else work for us. That's the idea. You make a good point, Jared. I think the, the more intellectual you get, the faster your beard will grow back. Have you been uh, going to the gym a lot, making sure the testosterone stays up? Isn't that why we smoke cigars? That too, but I mean, he's got to grow the beard back as soon as possible, so the more the merrier. I was going to grow it back before Zach got back, you know. Not going to happen. 
Minus two points for Mark. That's a strong ass, though. Of course, it's the base set. So anyway, before we started talking about dynasties, which Jared's in favor of, we were talking about what was discussed during this interview. Mm. I thought it was funny. Uh, right off the bat, he's like, how does it feel to get shot at? That was like the first 30 minutes yeah. of the whole thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I was standing there and I, you know, just I happened to look at the shooter and um, I, I instantly knew that um, something was going on and um, I knew it was the ear. I felt it on the ear. And um, then I then I heard, you know, bullets, bullets. And uh, I got down and um, the Secret Service, you know, great, great. Men and women of the Secret Service, they uh, like how he's they like, jumped on uh, top of me. He's like, no one thought I was still alive, so I had to stand back up again. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, they pulled me up, but you know, they didn't know I was still alive, so I had to, you know, throw my fist up and tell them I was okay. Quite honestly, you know how many news articles would have came out like once, once uh, the media got you know pushed to put the assassination attempt up there. If he didn't yeah. stand back up, people. Could it, those news articles yeah. would have easily said like they had to carry him out. They yeah. made it look like he was still walking, but yeah. he wasn't. Yeah, for sure. I mean, did they only say he like fell down? Oh yeah. At first, it was like Initially. Trump falls at rally in Pennsylvania. Lie. So ridiculous. Yeah, he dropped down. No, no. Yeah, that was that wasn't even like a fall. He literally just like no, like, it wasn't. Huh? Ugh. <laughs> like. Yeah, Trump falls at rally. Trump took his dentures out during the interview too. I, I love how um, when Trump said no tax on tips, there was like CNBC posted like a really bad article about him saying that it's going to like cost the government six hundred billion dollars over yep. the course of ten years, which is like in the grand scheme of things, that's like nothing. That know? literally is nothing. Yeah, they they, they, they print, give they all print, money they to they somebody print, else. Well, that and they just printed that since we've been recording this. So, but six hundred million dollars over the course of ten years. They just gave more than that. That's to, nothing. They just gave more than that to freaking stop giving the money to Ukraine. Exactly. Yeah. So one of the greatest things that Elon said in that interview was about inflation, and he mentioned the fact of the matter is like if you have a government contract, it doesn't matter because there's a plant more money to make sure everyone gets paid, and that's how or one of the easy ways inflation happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if, if they're if every contract is you know fulfilled, overbid and fulfilled, yeah, then you know. That's where you have that issue. Actually, right now, there's a lot of contracts that the government's just starting to like cancel, like yeah. defense contracts and stuff like that. Um, you know, I guess to like combat inflation, but usually, uh, like, if there's a Democratic president, they're the ones that spend all the money on military, which is kind of crazy to think about, you know. Well, because we've been brainwashed to thinking the opposite. Yeah, but, you know, even like the standard Republican is like, you know, pro military, pro, you know, military spending, you know, get our army as big as we can or our military as big as we can. But if you actually look at the cost that goes into these contracts, um, more contracts are put out and more wars are started during Democratic presidents. Because I think when a Republican, for the most part, says they want to build the military, they want to do it efficiently and cost effectively, whereas the Democrats do the opposite. Yeah, yeah. But just like with uh, the whole Air Force One thing with Trump, you know, he's like, well, I'm not going to spend that much money on that. You know, he's like, what's the point? You know, I understand, you know, what it is and what it needs to do, but this is ridiculous. And then everyone, you know, of course, the news media put it ass backwards and they're like, oh, well, you know, we the president needs that. Like, he needs to be protected. And... Uh, you know, I don't know, and oh, I'm pretty so now sure they, they want to protect him. Yeah, and but I'm pretty sure they still gave him a discount. You know, yeah, you give him yeah, a couple billion off. Yeah. But to your point, they posted that article about him. Then they also posted an article about Kamala Harris when she said the same thing. Yeah, congratulating exactly, her. exactly. Yeah, it was crazy. So twisted. Yeah, another way we we'll watch combat inflation is by um just drilling again. Get an energy prices down. Which yeah, makes- we're gonna start fracking again. She doesn't even know what that means, uh, but we're gonna drill, baby, drill. Which makes sense though, because everything really revolves around like gas prices, right? Because if the gas prices are higher, it, everything costs more. It costs the farmer more to dig everything from the dirt. It costs them more to transport it. 
You know what I'm saying? Well, energy in general is like the biggest market. Yeah. So like the more energy prices are up, the more prices of everything else are going to be up. Yeah. I mean, if we're exporting, you know, oil, right? I mean, we're, we're solid. I mean, that's why Saudi Arabia makes so much money. You know, that's why Russia makes so much money. It's because they're exporting all this oil. Like you go to, if you go to anywhere in the EU, you know, natural gas and oil are so expensive, you know, that that's why people don't use, you know, electricity all the time. That's why they don't use uh, air conditioning just because they can't afford it. But we can't live without our AC over here. No. Yeah, especially in Florida. Yeah. Should we compare our sticks? Yeah, but a lot of people don't think they... For the camera? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the other camera? I think oh, yeah. I... Am I smoking the Quiggus? You might be. I think I am. That's a, that could be a problem for you. Yeah. I think I think a lot of people don't realize, though, how much like transportation costs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I think a lot of people don't realize a lot of things. Especially, you know... Let's take uh, Jared's hometown, California, for example, or his home state, California. Um, you know, they're all taking buses. I was born here, by the way. <laughs> they're all taking buses, you know, in places like Los Angeles. Because they, they really don't need to drive. I get that. But you're in your own bubble and you don't realize that, you know, people that have to drive to work have to pay X amount of money in gas, especially right now. Yeah, but not even in that aspect. Like, like You're talking about... I'm just talking about like groceries and stuff like... Yeah. The more the transportation cost cost, the more the groceries are going to be. Right. Because right? now this egg costs a dollar to ship. Now it costs two dollars to ship. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. Gas and, prices and and it hit us where it hurt. It hit us where it hurt, dude. I'm actually still emotional about this. It hit us with the Snapple bottles. They took those glasses away because gas prices got too high. Yeah. Right. It costs too much money to ship glass because it's too heavy. Yep. And they change it with plastic. Yep. You can't have a Snapple with a plastic bottle. I'm still on strike with them. And, and I just want to point out, you said LA. There's over 20,000 active, idle, or abandoned wells just in LA. Oil wells? Or? Oil wells. In the city of LA. Are you serious? I swear to God. Mm. So we should start buying some before he gets back in office. Half the buildings in LA are fake buildings that are look that look like buildings, but they're just oil wells. They constantly are pumping up oil from the ground. It's a good place to put it because no one's going to ask questions. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Everyone's driving Teslas in, over there, which is cool. You know, shout out Elon. But, you know, they think they're being environmentally, you know, safe. Conscious. Conscious, yeah. Well, and, drilling uh, the Saving oil, the world. Drilling the oil doesn't really put out any toxic fumes. It's like refining the oil. I, I get it, but yeah... That's how they make their money. That's how LA makes their money. Oh, and they yeah, live yeah. in LA because they think, you know, oh, hey, you know, we're an anti oil state. We're, you know, super democratic. You know, it's like. But it costs more energy to produce those vehicles. Facts. Facts. You see, it Elon takes- Musk is closing down his San Francisco location. Yeah. I feel like he's been talking about that. Yeah. I think they're actually like moving forward with it now. But the point is, it's. Your perfect society is built on the backs of all the things that you quote unquote hate. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, people blame, like, let's just say cars, right? Gasoline for pollution. Um, they could easily develop fuels made from oil that burn cleaner. I mean, they've been doing it. That's, Porsche even said, that we're, we'd rather develop a fuel than move to electric because we like our internal combustion engine. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, Trump said it too. They were talking about, he basically said, you know, solar uh, and wind and all this, it's really not all that. Oil and gas are still the superior form of energy and maybe nuclear until we figure out a new source of energy. But right yeah. now... That's all we got. Nuclear is actually the best. Yeah, there, there's multiple issues with it, but yeah, it is the best. You know, you know, nuclear was so popular at one point that Ford, um, they had like a prototype of a nuclear powered car. They, they never had a prototype, but they had like a mock yeah, of a mock one. of it. Yeah, 
Disney, you know, Disney is still eligible to put a nuclear power plant on their property. Yeah, it'd be sick. Without any supervision from the state. It'd be kind of cool. They're allowed to experiment with experimental forms of energy. They're allowed to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, they are. Yeah. But anyway, n- nuclear is great, but the w- the reason people don't like it is because one nuclear meltdown, which like could rarely happen now. Um, it's like that issue is really non-existent, but it plants a target if we are ever to be invaded. Yeah. Um, or like in Europe, if you're going to switch everything to nuclear, if Germany had all nuclear everything and Russia wants to take over, they just got to bomb one nuclear power plant and be like, hey. Well, that's why we build the Iron Dome here to decrease the risk. Yeah, I'm excited for that, actually. I mean, we invented the thing anyway, you know? Yeah. I'm sure we had it before anybody else had it, to be honest. I'm sure we have some some form of it now. Yeah, but I think he wants to basically make it large scale. Yeah. Well, yeah, the Iron Dome is all short range ballistic missiles. Um, what we have in the states now would be long range missiles. You yeah. know, constant like what intercontinental missiles or whatever. And to think about it, uh, Israel is such a small area geographically compared to the United States. So it would definitely be a much larger project to do here if you were to cover all your bases. Yeah, but they really don't need to cover all their bases. Like, well, the coast at least. Yeah, I know, but like, even then, to have short range missiles on the coast would, what would it really do? You probably just need it in Florida. That's true. Well, no, actually, realistically, actually, you bring up a good point. Would you need it on the border then? Probably just in Florida because you got Cuba right there. That's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you could have in like, you know, countries or uh, states that are neighboring, quote unquote, hostile countries. Uh, But realistically, you wouldn't need any short range like Iron Dome like missiles um, in the continental US. You would need more longer range stuff. Yeah, probably not Canada right now, but you never know, like, you know, who will take over Canada. Yeah. Like, de- like defense missiles has always been a big industry in uh, uh, private contracting. So it's like they've been doing it for years. The- to say that we don't have it and we're going to put an Iron Dome is more just fluff than anything um, because they can never confirm that they did. Yeah. They could just, that's true. They could just kind of be like, oh, yeah, don't worry. We're protected. <laughs> so it's like, but I think the real reason why. You know, Donald Trump speaks in layman's terms about the Iron Dome coming up. So, like, let more people who don't know know. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, it's easy for it's easier for him to say we're going to put an Iron Dome over America than it is to go through all the semantics of what kind of missile is being deployed. Yeah, because that doesn't know. mean anything to the average American. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, they they need to crack down on cyber though. Yeah. Another point he brought up was about AI. He was saying that the energy it takes to keep AI running is twice as much as we use for everything else. Yeah. Jared would know more about that. But he brought that up again you know, about China too, where it's like to effectively have AI run in all these different systems, like GPUs, CPUs alone, all the energy acquired is quite immense, right? Yeah, but... um yeah you you would probably have to take into account though that a lot of stuff would not be being used online anymore because of ai like you know google searches would go down so the amount of servers that they would need would probably drop um that's true mark only uses chat gpt now instead of google jared does the same but i use use google (laughs) i mean that that's just like one example you know but I wonder if anybody, because isn't like Bitcoin mining, like, it's just like figure Solving out algorithms. algorithms. Yeah. So I wonder, is there like a way to like incorporate AI into that to solve it faster? I thought they were like going to California and like actually mining for it. Jared? No, it's all GPU based. Oh, okay. I thought it's, it was like a mine shaft it's, somewhere. It's basically like you're loaning your GPU uh, to be used by someone else and they use it at 100% capacity. Uh, uh, to solve these algorithms and but what are the algorithms for it's i mean it, it's for the currency it's just to like create. like like we have a a you know a currency that's printed off a printer with specialty ink and like it's tough to create 
this is just this is what gives it its toughness to create. I guess it solves these algorithms. It gives it the value. But what yeah. creates algorithms? Oh, I don't know. God, dude. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. It's yeah. like you know we invented a computer, and then now all of a sudden there's a whole new digital world that we have to discover, not create, but discover. Sure. I mean, you can math forever, so. Yeah, but like, what's creating the algorithms to for the? To be, I don't know. Let's just say it's trying to solve for the final number of pi. You know, it's like it's unsolvable. It's just gonna keep trying to solve for it. Hmm. Hmm. So every time you get a step Jared? closer. <laughs> from my understanding, I think when it comes to blockchain, there's a limited number of like uh, algorithms to solve for a limited number of tokens. So like uh, like Bitcoin will eventually run to a certain number of tokens maxed out eventually. And so that's why the price keeps going up because it's only a certain number. Mm. So it's backed by a certain number of digital currency. So you can borrow and trade against it. And there's fractional banking and fractional trading as well. Like you don't have to buy a $60,000 Bitcoin. You can buy a fraction of it. But exactly. if you want to mine for it, you have to mine for a whole coin, I believe. And I think the cost right now too just doesn't make sense. Like the cost for mining. In the beginning, it made sense. But now it's like you're spending thousands of dollars on electricity to get maybe a couple hundred bucks yeah i mean you really have to have the infrastructure for it uh um, maybe you drop a mini cpu it's got some wi-fi maybe it has a few gpus in it like like to be honest with you if i owned like um uh, i don't know a spa for example like there's a there's a guy who built a spa uh in a resort that um all the hot tubs and hot water heaters and everything the steam room is all heated by the um, the GPUs heat, yeah. That are that's being used to mine these bitcoins. So oh, that's, that's why smart. Yeah, you're recycling that water. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm, so you're cut- cutting the cost somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. You're making money doing something else. You know, while you're using the electricity. Mm. You know, because and it, when you start using electricity, you're giving off heat. Uh, yeah, they should sell tea also. They, I mean, you they probably do. I mean. They probably have like make, their hot make, water. Make like a tea house. They, they probably have their hot water for the whole resort running off of that. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, it's running 24 seven. You, so you basically have an instant hot water heater. It's not like a coffee shop called like mind coffee. So we need to have a building that's in like a cold area. I don't even think you, there's a, there's a, uh, well, cause what I'm saying is we don't need to use a heater here. Yeah. Maybe a, one day out of the year. There's like a Bitcoin miner right in the land. Or Deltona or whatever that is. Yeah, they're doing it wrong. We should do it in like... It's in like a little strip mall. If we do it in Iceland, you can connect it to houses and use it to heat the houses because it's cold like 10 months out of the year. Or we can do it in Antarctica. Maybe that's what they're doing down there. (laughs) Making all the Bitcoin. Realistically... Is that why the ice caps are melting? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, realistically, you could pump the heat into the earth. Um... You just have to find like uh, a liquid that can Lava. transfer. Well, no, that has the correct like uh, thermodynamic properties that could transfer that heat. Mm. Like, yeah, but then we wouldn't be using it. No, we wouldn't be. No. And that's but the I, problem. You know, I, I'm just saying like, <laughs> Jared? If I had <laughs> infinite money, sure. But what? 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 Why are you laughing? I, I don't know. I was making a joke with a volcano comment, but I don't know. Use lava to power your house, <laughs> so we can recycle the lava. I must have missed that. You guys don't use lava to heat your house. I ran out. I think the power of the sun is enough for me over here. Yeah, yesterday was insanely hot. Yeah, that had to have been a world record yesterday. It's been hitting. Look, the look at us. The U.S. is breaking all ki- types of records. See, what we got to do is run everything off of steam again and use the bitcoin miners mm. you know to create steam mm-hmm. right but and then we'll know that we've mined all the possible bitcoin when everything in the world just shuts down and we gotta start from scratch yeah that's true yeah you're the software engineer what do you think well, you can that? have backup generators uh a few ideas i'll talk about our podcast i think you're like the designated um expert on this over here yeah, Mark's just the idea guy, but you're the you're the logistics idea. Okay, guy. what if we steal Google's supercomputer to mine Bitcoin? 
This is a joke. What do you mean, steal it? Like we take it. Stealing means like taking something that isn't yours. Interesting. No, I see. I don't do that kind of stuff, Mark. <laughs> okay, I'm in like a hypothetical world. Like, if you could use Google, oh God, this is gonna be the second episode <laughs> and not get published, and get banned. <laughs> If you could use Google. YouTube's, YouTube's going to be like, oh, huh, you want to steal? They, some they found out. They found out what we're doing. <laughs> Actually, you ever seen a picture of that? It's pretty crazy because like, it's really not that big, but the thing to cool it down is like huge. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's because um, heat is more powerful than the ability to cool it. Yeah, because heat transfers. You know what keeps me cool? Yeah, nothing nothing actually gets cold. It's the lack of heat that exactly. it, it holds. Yeah. You know, you know what keeps me cool? I think Alex will agree to this is um canoeing. <laughs> I thought yeah, you were kayaking. So, uh, nope. Alex is canoeing. I, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I I I don't know what I did. I thought I lit it properly, but the slider was going out because of the wind. Uh, he's winning the longest ash competition right now, I'll tell you that. Yeah, just look at it from this side. <laughs> Did that count? You got a holder. <laughs> yeah, you're holding it up. It's cheating. It's okay. We're not competing for long ash, but I'm doing everything I can to keep it lit. I think I'm. You're, you're actually the lowest, though. I know that's a problem. Unless I could just like get the flame to start up here and then burn down. I don't think it's gonna be possible. It's not. I'm surprised it's still lit. Me too. It almost went out a bunch of times. I think I just get nervous when we do the competitions. You know, it has a weird curve shape. It's not weird. It happens. <laughs> I think I have a pill for that. I think I could be wrong. Uh, you are wrong. It doesn't work. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> oh, I've just heard. No, I've heard. Yeah, I know a guy. I know a guy. Yeah, yeah. This buddy that I met, that uh, his cousin's sister's brother. Yeah, but he probably got the Indian pill version, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else was talked about? It was a long interview. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's burning a little bit on the side. Like it might, it might it's going to be off. like two cigars in one. This is actually a, a trick that I learned. So I'm actually going to win the competition because I'm going to smoke the first cigar. See, look, he's already intimidated. I don't know what happened. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, he, 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 Mark, Mark's still new to this cigar thing. So sometimes he accidentally inhales. That's why like, you just try to make Mark laugh. So that way he accidentally inhales a little bit. He makes himself laugh. That's true. He's been, he's been laughing since he walked in this room. If you don't make yourself laugh, you'll never make anybody else laugh. To be fair, you can't rely on other people to do things for you. So you exactly. got to do them yourself. Hmm. I always pause. I feel like Zach's about to say something. No, that's how I always trick him. What are we at? He's actually sitting there pondering. Pandering, more like. 38 minutes. Oh, he stopped and started. True. But we're still going. We are here. We can't stop it until we uh, have a clear winner. A clear gold medal winner. One of us is going home without a medal. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who that is. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's two cigars in one. You just don't realize it yet. How did that affect the flavor? It's a little, little bitter, I will say, but I think that's because it almost went out a couple times. I had to use the the, the power of my mind to relight it. Mm, interesting. I think you should be disqualified just for that. Why would that disqualify me? It's not against the rules. You're just smoking it bad. It's still lit. I can lose points, sure, but a lot of points. I don't know. Are you the judge? It's like it's like a diving competition, right? Like, oh, here still, we go. He still made the dive, but he made a big splash. Jared you know and I were saying? talking about this. You know, it's like break dancing. You're going to judge break dancing, but then you're going to be someone called Ray Gun and go out there and like move in circles on the ground. So it's funny because someone there was a tweet that someone made that was like, we should put a regular person in the Olympics just to see, just to show us like the difference. And then they put that like, oh never mind, they did it. <laughs> <laughs> that whole story was crazy. 
You see that swimmer that didn't know how to swim? What? what? So the Olympics will take like like poverty countries and let them like compete against each other so they're not, you know, in like left in a hundredth place, you know. And uh there was like a country in Africa that the guy um what? That's so funny. <laughs> that the guy, like, you know, he joined their swimming competition. Or no, it was a lady. He joined their swimming competition and, um, like, she didn't know how to swim. Dude, the video. <laughs> yeah, there was a whole He's investigation. He's reporting facts here. There was a whole investigation. Like, the government was like, was like, Are we seriously sent someone that didn't know how to swim over there? Like, why would she volunteer? <laughs> it was a whole thing. Sounds dangerous. Why like, not? Go to the Olympics for free. I guess, yeah, yes. What are you going to drown? I think I did see something about that. Yeah. She just said, she's like, help! <laughs> help! <laughs> to be fair. I mean, they, there are lifeguards there. Because there's been memes about, like, oh, what's the most useless job known to man? And it's like being a lifeguard at the 100 meter dash, or like, or at the fucking swim competition. To be fair, if you have never swim before, you wouldn't necessarily know. That you don't know how to swim? I think you would know. You wouldn't know how difficult it is, though. So it's like, how hard can it be? Like, everyone does it. Well, you know? and, and and you're probably also not thinking that you can't just, like, stand up in those pools. Like, yeah. there's got to be people that think that, like, those people could just stand up. True. But that's not the case. Have you seen these videos on TikTok about aerated water where it's been sitting there for so long that, like, there's air pumped into it? But if you, but you're not oh, buoyant and you, you yeah. sink right through. Yeah, you won't be buoyant in it. Yeah. And you'll die. Yeah. You, you'll drown yourself. What? There's, so, uh, any any water treatment plant has aerated water. It's water light. So they pump air into this water. Um, and that's why, like, all the water treatment places around here, you can look at the top, they're covered. Like, they have, uh, like, cages so you don't, people don't climb in them. Cause yeah, if you jump in them, like, you, you can't swim. Like, you will die. You just automatically sink. It's like quicksand, but quick water, basically. Yeah. That's why, like, when the waves are, um, splashing around a lot. No, I'm serious. It makes, and, and you, it makes you sense. get that you, you get that like white foam. Yeah, it's hard to that's, swim. That's why a lot of people drown because yeah. you, you're trying to swim, but it's like half air, half that's water, true. and yeah. you can't get it. You can't get yourself up. If we only learned the ability to fly, then that wouldn't be an issue. What? <laughs> I mean, I guess. You know, so you're like half swimming, half flying, then you'd be okay. I don't even think you would need to swim. It's half air, half water. Yeah, I think if you, if you could fly, like why are you, why are you even gonna go swimming? It's enjoyable. It's relaxing. Can, can you fly through the water? If it's uh, it's water a light, it's a different medium. It's just mm-hmm. thicker. Yeah, you probably fly slower, but you still fly. That is a solid question for the books. <laughs> Thanks, because they're technically all fluids. So if you could fly in air, you should be able to fly through water. It's a fluid. You should be able to fly through water. I'm gonna ponder on that for a while. That's um yeah. Take that. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Take that, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So, could could we swim through the air? Technically, that's what they're doing. They're not flying; they're swimming through the air. It's so, Homelander is like the best swimmer. The same math that is used for submarines is used for airplanes. Just pressurized. More, no, more. Pressure. No, no. I mean, what? no. It's literally the same map. It's all fluid submarine dynamics. Is pressurized. Yeah. Submarine is pressurized. So is an airplane. That's not exactly what I'm saying. I'm just saying. They're technically not flying. They're swimming through a, a less dense fluid. I will say that is the worst canoe I've ever seen. You mean uh, the, you mean the best canoe? Well, he <laughs> usually usually we correct them. Yeah. Yeah, usually you're not um, really actively working to keep it lit without using a lighter. But I'm still going. I think I'm going to win. I don't think you can win. I I feel like that should automatically disqualify you. Why would this disqualify me? Because it's half still the lit. Star's not lit. Yeah, if you- anything, I'm working against the grain. Yeah, but you still got a big chunk. Listen, like- if half the cigar is still lit, it's still lit. Yeah, but I should be losing. I, I should be running out before you. You didn't. You didn't really smoke the whole. It's cigar. a point to keep it lit the longest. Yes. So yeah. just whoever uh, smokes the slowest. Yeah. 
Yeah, but like if mine goes out, I lose. If yours goes out, you lose. Jerry goes out, he loses. When? Zach still. So what would you rate the <laughs> the combustion? Yeah. <laughs> um, not very good. If I'm being honest. And this is a good lesson on what happens if you overhumidify your cigar. If you don't know how to light a cigar, you know, you get issues such as canoeing. You know, different, ba- different a couple different issues. We're, we're going to take Alex to um, a little crash lesson course after this on how to properly light a cigar. To make uh, our own course, like, uh, why don't you just light the other side of that real fast for us? <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah. Yeah, you got to fix that. That's embarrassing. Yeah, just fix it. No, uh, eventually, maybe. You I'll know. fix it for you. No, uh, interference. I had to start a new cigar. <laughs> 30 minute penalty. See, if I knew it was about smoking the longest, I would have just got the Woody. Yeah, we have all have to smoke the same cigar. Uh, that's four Woodies. Up. Yeah, four Woodies. <laughs> We'd have our own X space interview. Mm-hmm. I'm still waiting for Jared to smoke that on live stream. I'm still waiting for you to buy it for me. I think he's, I think he's chicken. Okay. All right, let's compare sizes right now. <laughs> Hold on, let me stand up. Okay. Put it on. Put it on well, here. I'm still going. I still got basically a whole cigar. Okay, so I'm, I'm beating Zach barely. Well, uh, what do you consider beating? Jeez. Like if it's longer? Put, put yours right here, Jared. Put, no, right next to mine. I just don't want to touch now. No, put, just put it down. Put it down. It's yeah. down. Okay, mm. Jared's, Jared's winning currently. Yeah, but it, it's keeping it lit the longest, right? Yeah, yeah. I could keep yeah. this last part lit for another hour. That's true because it's hotter, so it's going to stay lit longer. Probably. I don't know. Wouldn't it be faster? It's going to stay lit longer because it's hotter. Stay lit. I don't think that's how it works. Like without puffing. Yeah. Like I just blow a constant stream of air at it. Is that cheating? No. You never did. It wasn't against the rules. That's what I should have done from the start. Just every five seconds, just like. You should use the heat from the lamps. You're struggling there, huh? You need a lighter to fix up? No. I don't even think it's burning on the outside anymore. It's just all into inside. Inside the wrapper. Right? The, the, the wrapper's not burning anymore at all. Doesn't look like it. Not gonna lie, I'm starting to feel it. I guess feeling it is one cigar. And and we fresh, always, we always they're fresh keep, cigars though. We always True. keep them lit. Yeah, but they're fresh cigars. See, I tried to sabotage the whole thing, but it worked against me in more ways than one. Should we? Should we just call it? You know what? <sighs> you gonna quit? No, never give up. Mm, all right. <sighs> I really, I really think Alex should be disqualified. I think we should make make a vote right now. Is Alex disqualified? Raise your hand. Aye, aye. Jared, do a tiebreaker. He's about to give up. Well, you say anything? All right, Alex gave up. You just want to call it? <laughs> I see one piece Fair. of red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's when you know it's about to give up. When you guys start working like super hard for it. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, I tossed it in here. It's oh like, my god! I'm done. I, oh, I, yeah, I, I, I put, up. I put mine up. out. What's that over there? You can tell me. You're looking at it. I don't know. It's like is this snake. That's a Jared question. I feel like you're an expert. You can answer this. This is like a piece of software coding up there. <laughs> <laughs> what language? It looks, like, it, looks, it looks like Kotlin. It, it looks like um, either Flutter or um, Python. Can you look at it for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a bad cough over there. Me and Mark have never looked into those eyes this long. It's a little, it's a little different for me. We haven't, oh, he blinked first. I think that, that counts. All right, guys. Rock, paper, scissors. Who wins? All right. Yeah, I'm down. 
Three way. <laughs> How do I play? Oh, put, put the center cam on. It doesn't work. Uh, oh, damn. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Jared? All right, ready? What, what are you doing? <laughs> what, what, what? Rock, Rock paper, scissors, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. shoot. Right. Wow, automatic win. Damn. Automatic win. Damn, you guys was... go for second. All right, ready? For the silver. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Damn. Dang. Damn. Jared's last place. Loser. Well, third place. Alex is last. Oh, yeah, true. Never forget. Venezuela goes home today with no medals. Albania takes gold and silver, and America. Oh, you're not pointing on me. And America takes home bronze. The USA takes home bronze. See you on the next one. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. And now, a final word from our sponsors.